It's your third anniversary with your lovely wife, Julie. Hey, you only been shacking up for 10 years before you got married. I know! What took you so long? You gotta make sure it's right. It's like a fine wine. I don't like wine. That's a whole other story. It's about you guys. I know. Newlyweds again for the third year in a row. That's awesome. Hey, it's also flag day. Wave your flag. See, this is my flag. And you're off. <laughs> uh, okay. I know. You're in the woods like me. You're hiding out during this horrible virus in Wasaic. Wasaic, quote unquote, a seeker, right? In a secret location in the woods. It sounds like any of those scary movies. Hansel and Gretel, Chainsaw Massacres. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, do you hear that? They stop right when I point them out, the birds. We have birds here. I'm not gonna tell you where it is. It's a secret location, Las Vegas. I know. We have baby birds actually in the street. Honey, you save them once a year because you know, they learn to fly, they fly down, and they can't fly, and you have to kind of flick them. I know, I know. You guys, you guys are like way out there though. I know. You guys have what? Deer? Bear? You saw a wolf once? Ducks and geese? We got those. Turtles? Beavers? We have turtles. We don't have beavers. In Oregon, we had beavers. Oh, here, here. Okay, you're, you're Mr. Smarty Pants, right? You're not just all good looking. Julie told me things. Yeah, but you know things like, do you know what animal is almost like a beaver is in Oregon? Maybe other places too. I'm sure other places. I don't think, I think it's an invasive species. Guess the name of it. It's like a beaver, but it's not. Okay, I'll give you a hint. It starts with an N, like Nancy. Your first girlfriend. What? <laughs> okay, it's similar to the word nutritious. Here, I'll give you, I'll, I'll give you a chance to think about it. Gotta fix my accordion. Perfect. You're right, a nutria. I know. I just taught you something, maybe. I'm gonna teach you something else later too. You know, I know a little Chinese, so I'm gonna have a little uh, Chinese lesson. Anyways, beavers. We don't have those in Vegas. Muskrats. I don't even know what that is. Is it like a pocket gopher? We have those in Las Vegas. Do you know that, <laughs> Mr. Smarty? <laughs> Hey, I'm here to make you even smarter looking. Smarter looking. You're already winning. You have Julie. I don't have Julie. I have a, I have a dog. She might come out here later. I know. She's, she's just getting back from a walk. 4:30 a.m. that starts. Back to you guys. God. I know. I'm never gonna play my song. We got snakes, hawks. We have snakes here too. I only heard about one. Like five minutes. I just missed it. Hawks, no. Turkeys, no. I used to eat that for Thanksgiving, but now that I'm vegan, that's a whole other story. Hummingbirds, we've got those. They're right behind you. You can't see them. I feed them. My girlfriend feeds them. She makes the little water, food thing, whatever they eat. I know lots of songbirds. Hey, you know what? I bet you've never seen this songbird, okay? See if you can guess the name of this bird. Okay. If I'm Thank goodness. Well, that's just my hat. Is it, is it good? Is it sticking up? I look like Lisa Simpson now. Why well, do I keep touching my nose? I just gave myself coronavirus, baby. It's my itchy beard thing. You might know what that is. I don't. You're a guy. Hopefully Julie doesn't know what that means. Now I'm gonna play a special song for you. I wrote it. I think it's a parody. I think I stole it from Ren and Stimpy. Change the words. You'll love it. In honor of your third anniversary. Woo! Victory! I started noticing, like, I always want to do it like this, but every time I see on TV, they do it like this. It's kind of easier. This is good, you know, if you lost your thumb in this thing, that'd be horrible. Oh my goodness. I'd have to, you know, commit squeeze aside or something. I just thought of that word. I invented it. Okay, a song. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary to you. Oh, I know. The crowd goes wild. The crowd goes wild. Okay, okay, I know you gotta hurry up and barbecue all your meat, your souffle, 
whatever you do. I know, I'm gonna stick with Julie, says yo. She's in charge of the vegetables, bread, and I like to live on bread. I'd be a good prisoner, because you know, bread, I'm good with. Dessert, eh, eh. Oh, and I heard you're teaching her how to drive. That's crazy. I know, I think we're, we have a, we have a relation. I think we're, we might be related, because I talk. I, my first girlfriend in high school drive. I was already driving, and she's like older than me and didn't drive. Really funny story, I might tell you later, because it's, no, it's not about me, it's about you. Hopefully it doesn't happen to you guys, I know. Let us stick drive too. Okay, she hit the neighbor's fence. <laughs> in my car. Oh, 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 oh. So I jumped in the seat, so the guy would think I did it, so she ain't in trouble. That's how good a guy I am. I know, I know, I'm not as good as you. I know, I know. I don't know anything about aerospace. Well, I saw the TV show Space Force, and I guess there's this thing called Apollo. It's up that way. Okay. See? Oh, no. Oh, oh, and also you're learning Tai Chi? What a coincidence! I eat Thai food sometimes. I know, I know, I know. Is that like yoga or Yogi Bear? I don't know. Is that where you go like this? And you have to raise your foot up. You can't see. I don't wear any pants when I do these. I'm just kidding. Okay, in honor of your big third anniversary, pick any song up by Samba. Here, I'll show it to you. Good choice. Okay. You guys must be like my age. Maybe a little older. Maybe a little younger. Okay. I was surprised you picked this one. It's, it's like, uh, it's a little bit too old for you. Maybe your dad played it when you were driving around. Oh, oh you, yeah, you know how to drive. Okay, right, because you're teaching her. Okay. There it goes. Hold on, I gotta fix it again. Get your motor on it. one that I think you guys might know. I don't know. Hey, how'd you guys meet? You can tell me what happens in Las Vegas stays in Las Vegas. Here. That's awesome! Yeah, hey, I, I was wondering why you're looking at my custom shirt. Yeah, I had it in bed for... Wait, can you see that? It has my name on there. That's awesome. I know! This cleaning lady comes in your office and, Would you like to buy a search? Shirt, sir? You're like, I don't know. Maybe if you come to my house and come into my closet, I will. <laughs> Not scary. And, and now, Julie, you're in the woods with this guy. Oh, no. Go back to New York City. <laughs> don't worry, they won't get a rope. Oh, that's an old one. Hey, can you guess what that's from? Commercial? Peace Picotti sauce. <laughs> And then you blah blah, you fell in love, you, she moved in with you. First guy she's ever lived with. Wow! Oh, I know why. Because you lit the little kitty cup. You invited, uh, uh, oh, oh, now I get it, Jupiter, and now you're in aerospace. Hmm. Before you met her and her kitty, maybe you never even knew about space. <laughs> what? I know, and then you finally got married after 10 years. Okay, here, here. I'm going to play an old song. You might remember it. I don't know. I don't, did, that, did that judge you know, in those chambers, that person, I don't know. Did they play this song for you? I know. It sounds just like the record. It sounds like Beethoven or Bach or whoever, Mendelssohn. I don't know. Oh, here's a good song, too. Here, guess the name of the song. You probably know. I'll give you a hint. It's from a TV show. Here's a story of a lovely lady who was bringing up two very young cats. All of them are out of gold, like their mother, the youngest one in the world. Not here's a story of a man named Bruce who was busy with research of his own. They were born and they got together. Till one day we learned he met this fellow And they knew that he was much more than a team That this group was seven for the family Ew! That the dude 
And they call us the Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch. That's the way they became the Brady Bunch. Yeah, the Brady Bunch. Yeah, the Brady Bunch. Is your nest? Is your last name Brady? That'd be a weird coincidence. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got, I got a call coming in. Yeah, it's my, it's my uh, new earpiece. It's called an ear tooth. What? I just invented that. Okay, this is from Francis and Kazoo. They wanted me to play this song for you in honor of your holy matrimony. <laughs> Here's them doing it. Did you see that? Some hummingbirds just flew right by me. They're getting the yummy food we put out of them. Anyways, congratulations for corn grass, as I said. Oh, hold on, hold on. I promised you a Chinese lesson. Okay, here we go. See if you can tell what I'm saying. This is tough because, you know, I was only like eight when I learned it, because I was living in Taiwan, it's phonetically, so, and actually, I was saying it for a long time, and I was working at a Chinese restaurant. Oregon, you know, uh, 15 years ago, 25 years ago, I don't know, I mean, Chinese are like, they're gonna tell me, 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 they can you look it up somehow? Here, I'll give you a second. I'll play that. I'll play that waiting song. Hold on, I gotta fix my accordion. What's wrong with it? Oh, the button's kind of stuck. But here it is. Here it goes. Sounds kind of horrible. It's different. Uh, I'll, we'll, we'll go with it, right? I know. Now you burned the zucchini, Julia. I gotta hurry up. You're right. It means stupid watermelon head. Hey, I was only eight. It's the, it's the worst thing I could learn in Taiwan in the 70s. I know! <laughs> Anyways, congratulations on your fourth. You should come to Las Vegas. Call me up. If I'm still here, I'll come out and play for you live. Live in person. I'll even learn a new song for you. Yeah, I probably won't. But I might know another song you know. Hey, congratulations. Hold on. I'm going to do some Las Vegas magic now. I'm going to disappear. Well, this is awesome. Yeah, I actually did it. I did a gig here in town called The Worst Show. Gee! Ooh! I know. Who would have guessed? I was, I was the one-man band. Anyways, the guy who produced it knows Siegfried and Roy. Wait, no, not those guys. Or guy now. Sorry. Rest in peace. Wait, hold on. See, I play, I play funerals too. And then do a polka style. Famous magicians. Okay. Anyways, here, here it goes. This is magic. Get ready. It's awesome. Hold on. I, I gotta conjure up the yogi spirits. Okay, here it goes. Oh my god, that made me dizzy. Jeez, maybe I should take those pills the doctor gave me.